get into the main topic of this video, which is the first drive of the Turbo D21 hardbody. Um, our buddies over at Max Speed Rods um, sent us out some for the truck for my birthday. And it's going to help us tremendously. Like I said, guys, there we have plans for the channel and for this truck. And we're making that happen. I got a couple of companies on board already for like helping sponsor this build and stuff. So, definitely, guys, Max Green Rods has been a big help for the channel. Check them out, Max Peeding Rods. A lot of people say it's Max Speeding Rods. It's Max Peeding Rods. So, there's no S in there. So, your gateway to performance driving. So, a lot of people talk down on them, but they're actually a really good company. And they're only getting better, guys. So, if anybody needs what's in this box or any other parts... Or anything for your vehicle, I mean, guys, just browse their website. I'm telling you. Use that link in the description and use discount code CARDUDE. Save you guys some money at checkout on anything on their website. And I'm telling you guys, they Thank have you. improved so much in the last couple of years on the quality of their parts. And what's in this box is going to show that. So, like I said, this, I didn't pay for this absolutely at all. Um... Max Bean Rod reached out to me like, hey, your birthday's coming up soon. I'm like, yeah, on the 20th. Like, what do you want? We're going to send you something for your birthday. And mm -hmm. this is what I wanted. And they did it. So let me show you what we got. All right, so I'm not going to lie. I did open the box already and go through it. Just because um, the box was like this when I got it. And I just want to make sure nothing was missing out of this box. So inside of this box, guys, we have... Some bars and some brackets and stuff. I did already put one together for a display to show you guys how it was going to look. But in here, guys, it comes with all the bars needed. So there's five bars. All the plates here that needs to be welded. All the bracketry here. If you guys don't know what this is yet. So, um, well... They weld on these corners here. There's a weld there. There on both sides of them. Like top and bottoms. So what I did is I went ahead and welded it in here. On the opposite ends as you can see. Right there and right there. I still got to do this end right in here. So. <clears throat> but. Yeah. Like I said all the brackets here. That you need hardware absolutely everything you're gonna need to make this possible to use this kit is here and if you guys don't know what this kit is or what you're looking at because I know a lot of my followers are more like in the Hondas and stuff and like front-wheel drive stuff and you really don't use this well you do but it's not the same you will use um, like a traction bar or something that will go on the front of the like like radius arm styles but what this is here is a four link this is a parallel four link for the hard body so this here gets welded to the differential or the rear end you know you cut it in to fit this is a universal kit then you have adjustments here to adjust your forward and back bite and then this here is longer because this is a universal kit so this will go where you need it. And it comes with, like I said, all the bracketry and everything you need. There'll be a plate that gets welded to the side of the frame of the truck. And then cut this down for how far you need it in. And then weld this to the plate. This gets welded to the rear end. And this takes place of your leaf springs. So we got both sides. And then there's a pan handle bar that is... So let's say this is the differential. <clears throat> These will go this way like where the leaf springs go and then the pan handle bar will go the opposite way to the frame for sideways adjustments so it makes everything fully adjustable in the rear end <laughs> which is cool especially with a vehicle that's got a solid differential so but max bean rod sends out t-shirt uh decal for the truck that we're gonna be putting on it and this here <clears throat> you guys know already know they helped out with a turbo kit and everything that's on the truck so guys 
I'm telling you, please check out the link down in the description in the discount code and just browse through their website. And if you guys are interested in anything, pick it up. I'm telling you, you guys will not be disappointed. My X-Men Rise has came a long way in the last year or two. I mean, <clears throat> even beyond that, I mean, they have been changing things. Like, they get a lot of bad rep because the their coilovers, like their first set of coilovers, which, yeah, I, I, I agree, they weren't the best. But since then, they have came a long way. So give them a try. You guys won't be disappointed. Use the link down in the description and my discount code to save you guys some money at checkout and get some work done on your car. So I know this was a little bit of talk, but I wanted to put this in here before we got into the juicy stuff of the first drive of the D21 hard body. And there's a surprise at the end of this video. So hope you all enjoy. And once again, Max Speed Rides, thank you for helping out and for sending out the birthday gift. I appreciate it. So let's get to the video. Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. So we are messing on the D21 hard body. Uh, last video I told you guys that Kennedy had someone that was gonna weld on a piece of pipe here. And we got that done, got slapped back on. Um, I had him make a little tall so I can shorten it if I need to. Um, pretty much that's how it would be. Obviously I'm gonna order a three and a half to two and a half inch um, coupler, 90. And that would all be good there. Inner core would be good here. This is going to sit down a lot lower, obviously. <laughs> but, yeah. So, that's taken care of. Just got to order that coupler. And then we are working on the downpipe part right now. So, I got this piece here from the parts store. That is going to slip onto here. And right now. And then... That's going to go over to the exhaust, so kind of something like that. I don't know. So, we definitely going to have to shorten this down a little bit. I just put a little tack on there just to hold it in place while we work on it. So, let's shorten this down. Keep shortening until we get it where it needs to be. All right, guys, so a little bit of update. We've gotten this for the downpipe kicked over some, but Kenny went up to Lowe's and not ideal but hey if it works it works <laughs> we got a piece of three and a half to two and a half inch there um we got where's it at we have the map sensor pulled back off i'm gonna go ahead and cut this down shorter that's gonna slip onto that and then we're gonna cut down a piece of two uh, the two and a half so that would be on the top like that this will be here in a sense you know and then a 90 off of that into the intercooler piping and then our intercooler piping is done and then see what we can figure out with the downpipe. So this thing ain't so loud. So we're just going to keep busting it out. Um, I think our objective for this video is to drive the truck. So we're just going to keep pushing. So let's do it. All right, guys. So we got this contraption going on. Hood is off the truck for now. Um, this isn't staying like this. We're actually going to order the 90 that comes off of here from a 3.5 to 2.5 90. So we're going to order that. But since he had this, I'm like... Let's just freaking throw it on there just so we can drive this thing and feel some boost in it and all that, you know. So she's going ahead and put the alternator on right now so we can put the belt on. So we have a working water pump. Then we got to put the radiator hoses on. Once radiator hoses on, put the fluid in there. I had to get the tap, make sure there's no leaks nowhere, nothing like that. Um, we didn't finish the exhaust, but it's starting to get dark. We're well, not starting, but the sun's starting to go down. And we got three or four vehicles we got to move and tires put air in and hope we can even get the truck out of the spot <laughs> so worst comes worst we can tie to one of the rt trucks and pull it out some but like i said in this video we're going for a test drive i don't even if that means we're going a quarter of an inch up the driveway and back but we're gonna let this truck move on their own power today hopefully so in this video regardless that's gonna happen so i'm gonna go ahead and get that done and we'll keep going <laughs> 